blush Ru Rougey? Rogue? Rugi? Rugio? Yu-Gi-Yo! I'm so excited! My camera works with me today! <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Blackboard Bees. I'm Ant. And for today's episode, we're basically just gonna be doing a full face of Juvia's Place. Now, if you were a makeup fiend like I am, you would know that Juvia's Place just dropped a whole new collection. It is the bronzed collection. And from what I've been seeing, oh my God. I'm super excited. I'm so excited. I was scared though. For real, for real. Like, for real, for real. I thought my order got lost in the mail. I was scared. I was scared. Okay, so here's, here's, here's this story nobody really asked for or cares about. I had put my order in Oh, I had a bubble in my throat. I had put my order in on make it up dates because I'm too lazy to go on my phone and look at the exact dates. But I know it was something around between the 10th and the 13th. And I was supposed to get my order on the 15th. And I was like, dope, I'm so excited. So the day that it came, it said it was in transit and it was out for delivery, but it was in Chicago. It was in Illinois. How is it out for delivery in Illinois and I live in California? That don't sound right. So then my optimistic side came out and was like, you know what? Maybe they mean you, like they didn't scan it right the last person in Illinois when it got shipped to California. Maybe, maybe it skipped a person or two. We don't know. No. No. It just got stuck there. So I literally just got my order a couple of days ago. Now today is the 20th. Got it on the 18th, I believe. Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this look. This is the look. She cute, right? And of course, like always, because I'm not a professional, we're gonna try we're gonna try our best. We're just gonna try our best. But we're also gonna remix the hell of it. So we're gonna do damn near a full face of Juvia's place. Oh that rhymes. So for the eyes, I already primed my face and I did my eyebrows. We're going to be using for the eyes the Juvia's Place Bronzed Rustic Palette. We're gonna be using not all of these pretty colors, but we're gonna be using mainly this one here and this one here. These are the two main ones out of this palette that we're gonna use. We're gonna start with this one as our base. I feel like this look is so simple though. You don't really need much. You don't need much experience. Like I'm sure there's a technique to it, but Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> We're supposed to be taking the darker shade and putting it up here. And I'm, I just, I reversed the hell out of it. Okay, never mind. We're gonna be taking this darker brown right here. Right here, this one. We're gonna be putting it up there. That one didn't count, ba da da da. Hello, bing bong. That's pretty though. Really like that, that's really pretty. Rub it down here on the lid, from the bone to the lid. Do you know what I am saying? I think it's supposed to be more of like a nude and the dramatics come in mainly with the liners that we're gonna use. So I'm not really worried if it's not gonna be like, bam, in your face. Okay, so now that we've got the upper lid done, we're gonna go in with a flatter tip brush and we're gonna put in that lighter shade. Bad kind of play you. I'm alive in the fat light world. Anybody else got that song from Wavy in their head? Just me, fat alive, that's cool, whatever. Uh, uh, thousand dollar shoes, uh, uh, player. Why do I sound like a pimp though when I say it? Player. Oh, why does this eye look so much prettier than this one? Can you even tell? Maybe, I don't know. So now we're just gonna take a blending brush and try and get that as even as possible to make it look like they mesh well. Oh, you know what it is. Bronze and bronzer, bronze and bronzer, bronze and bronze and bronze and bronzer. This brush is working a little bit better than my other one. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and get started on the shadow. No, the liner. So I'm going to be using this pretty blue right here, number 12, because it ain't got a name. How do you say this? Hendayan? Hendiver? Holy Diver? I don't know how to say this name. But 
If I didn't mention this before, all the makeup products that I'll be using that aren't Juvia's Place and and Juvia's Place, so all the makeup will be listed down in the description box below. I don't mention the names of them, mainly because I can't pronounce them. If I don't mention them in this video, it's because they really got nothing to do with Juvia's Place. I'm just using it to help enhance the look. The look. She's got the look. I swear I got nothing but music going on up here some days. I can tell you whatever brand this is, they're doing pretty good. Go ahead and fill it in. Ooh, that wing is thin, thin honey. Look at that. She's a little skinny, a little skin skin. I feel like if I thicken her up though, as thick as I want to thicken her up, we just, you know what I mean? Tries anyway. I actually like that one a lot better. All right, so now that that side's done, we're gonna go ahead and wing up the other side. Extra, okay. <laughs> so now that we have this pretty blue one dried down, we're gonna go ahead and add this glittery one, make it pop. Nothing like doing makeup while your dog snores as loud as she can in your ear. Thanks, Dean. Thanks. Appreciate that so much. Cool. Okay. Just don't move. And we should be good. There you go. Now that I turned the light down, I feel like you can probably see the sparkle from this thing a little bit better. Now we're going to be moving on. We're going to come back to the eyes, but like when we need to add lashes or something. So until then, we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. Let's go. I'm, a, I'm sorry if that was a little stiff. I'm just really terrified to blink right now. So for the foundation, I've already primed, I've already powdered, I've already put the setting spray on. So the finish and the foundation should last as long as I want it to. We're gonna be going in for our face. Hello. Thank you. For our face, we're gonna be using this Juvia's Place. This is in Kenya, to hunt it. Dab it on my little foundation. <gasps> Dab it on my little foundation thing, because I refuse to use the back of my hand. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place foundation brush in J203. And we're gonna smear it. Not really smear it, but like just dab it all over. Make sure we get that stash. Ow! Sponge. You ain't gonna say much. Bad kind of play you. Then we're gonna go in with our concealer, Juvia's Place at number nine. Dab, just dab. Just dab right here too, cause you be the main problem. How, I don't know, but you just be showing out for real, for real. Some people like to let their concealer dry down a little bit, but I feel like with Juvia's Place, you really don't need to. Can we just focus on my face? We do that. Juvia's Place, I don't feel like you really need to let it dry down. Maybe you should though, maybe I should. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe, just maybe, I don't let it dry down enough and that's why I always walk around looking like I got handlebars on my face. Cause I don't let you dry down enough. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. First time in a long time, I'm actually feeling like I'm gonna be pretty. Like, no lie, I feel like this is the first time in a long time I'm gonna feel pretty. I'm scared. Very scared. I haven't contoured my face in such a long time. I have a very, very, very big fear that I'm gonna be doing it wrong. So, so wrong. But we're gonna try anyway. Wish me luck, lower wish me luck. So I'm gonna be going in with my Juvia's Place bronzer in deep dark. I have another one too. It's in dark. And I'm, I got both of these because I wasn't really sure. Let's do a little compare. 
comparison. Hmm. This one. I think this one. I could be so wrong though. But I'm gonna do this one. Again, with my Javian's Place brush. <laughs> I have a lot of these brushes and I haven't used a lot of these. I'm gonna go in with the darker one and see how well that's gonna work. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's the one then. That's the one. Give it a rose. That's the one. Stop focusing on her. See, I'm gonna take your ass down. You always take my life. This one's doing the do. Doing what it's supposed to. Like I need a sharper chin. Anyway, I'm about done with you. I'm gonna take you down. You get on my nerves. Both of you. Both of you bitches getting on my nerves. As beautiful as you are, y'all getting on my nerves. Can I finally have the attention I deserve? Thank you. The only positive thing I could say about not contouring for so very long is the simple fact that my phone can recognize my face. Whenever I contour, my phone does not recognize who the funk I am. Now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place setting powder. Get it together by brushing away any excess and at the same time sharing the wealth. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush and you guessed it right, honey, it's Juvia's Play. Bam! This is the volume one blush. Ru Rougie? Rogue? Rugi? Rugio? yu gi I think I'm gonna take this upper one up here. Maybe this one. No, this one. This one, cause I like color. Sometimes, depends. I'm gonna take the same brush that I was using earlier. <gasps> yes, I'm just gonna do it and do it and do do all over my face. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm probably adding way more than I should, but this is my face. I do what I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. So I'm on my nose. Okay, so now that I'm pretty much satisfied with my face, we're gonna go back into the eyeballs. And I'm gonna be using this Juvia's Place Glow right here. Glow one, by the way, if we're being specific. I'm gonna add that into my tear duct. And I'm going to smear it in my face too. Take this little brush here, dabba dabba, and we're just gonna put it right in the tear duct. Duck. <laughs> quack, 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 beat. Because even though this wing right here adds a lot of dramatic effect, I mean, let's let's add some, let's add some little bit of, a little bit more, a little bit more don't hurt nobody. Not me just realizing I should have done this before our, that's all right. It's still cute though. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm pretty sure she has a little bit on the nose, up the line and above the lip, so right here focusing mainly just the down the center of the face. So we're gonna go ahead and do that too. I really like this glow. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, here we go. Overboarding again, like always. Remember the first time I used highlighter, I was walking around looking like a highlighter. And did nobody have the nerve to tell me nothing? I don't know if she has any at the bottom, but like I said, remix. Oh, that's cute. Now we're gonna go in with this Juvia's Place lip liner in brownie. Anybody else hear that word and automatically their brain goes brownies for my brownie? I do, every time I look at this now. Now we're gonna go in with our Juvia's Place lip gloss in bronzed chestnut. Hopefully it's dark enough. Ooh, I mean, you tell me. Apparently I grabbed a little bit too much, honey. Now I'm gonna let that dry down for a little bit because I wanna do like kind of a layering lightening effect. 
because I noticed in the picture her lips aren't completely one shade. It kind of dwindles off to like a little bit of a lighter shade. So we're gonna let this dry down first. And I don't even think this is a gloss. I think that might be a matte lipstick, but we'll figure it out. And in the meantime, in between time, honey, we gonna get some lashes on our face. Let's do that. Okay, so now that we've got the lashes on, we're gonna go ahead and kind of add more white liner underneath the eye. And then we're gonna come back to these lips because I don't feel like they're dry enough or at that level of dry where I want them to be. Let's thicken these lashes at the bottom. Ow, bro! That's cute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now that the bottom lashes are thickened and whitened, we're gonna go ahead and get back to the lips. For that other layer I was talking about for my lips, we're gonna be using this one. This is also from the Bronze Collection. This one is called Bronzed Toast. We're just gonna dab, dab, dab. Oh my God! Bang. Now that's all, now we get to blend it, honey. I'm not a lip gloss girl, I'm really not. I'll wear it occasionally, once in a blue moon maybe? But other than that, I'm not. Let's add the hair, change, and sum up what I feel about this Juvia's Place bronzed collection. All right, so what do we think about this new collection they got going on, Ant? I don't know, I, I love it. I can't even print. I love it. I I keep playing with my hair. But I really do love this collection and I'm so glad it came out. I'm loving this side of Juvia. Don't get me wrong, they always have really cool stuff and really neat products. I'm always a fan, I've always been a fan. But like this one, their products, their packaging, so aesthetically pleasing. It's literal artwork and makeup and you can make artwork with the makeup on your face. I mean, what, what, what more can you ask for? It is what it is. I like how they always come through with the pigment. It's always easy to apply, always easy to layer on top of one another. I've got literally no smudging, nothing's been removed from the makeup look. Um, as far as that picture goes, honey, I feel like we're gonna be twins. I really do, I really do. Don't come at me for this wig, I do love her. Uh, I just don't care to do all the gluing and stuff down, you know what I mean? Anyways, if you like this video, don't be afraid to give us a fatty fat, fat fat, fat fat, like. <laughs> don't forget to comment, share if you want to, and subscribe. And until next time, bye Look at you now, look at me. Bro, that's a bop. Can't tell me it's not.